Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to increase lead generation for small businesses. So, you know, one of the best quality leads that you're going to get on from the internet is actually ranking your site and your map listing to the top for very buyer intent keywords. So, for example, um, looking at towing company here, my client. Uh, in Sterling Heights. If you search towing Sterling Heights, my website comes up at the top um, in both areas, the maps and the organic uh, website rankings. And when you dominate these two areas, you start getting the highest quality leads because, you know, people that are searching these kind of keywords, they need uh, towing assistance ASAP, right? And how do you get your website to the top and your map list into the top? Well, there's you know a few many different factors um, that go into it, but I'm gonna just go. Um, I'm just gonna tell you like the main things, right? So it's citations. Citation is what where you can get your listings, um, your business listed on Yelp, Yahoo, Bing, and all these other places. Yellow Pages. Um, each of those citation spots are gonna tell Google how legitimate your business is, and that does help the rankings. The other part of this is uh, what are called, you know, backlinks. So Google is like a big popularity contest. The more links that link to your site, the higher you're going to rank. Now, I'm using a tool called Ahrefs to, so that we can see some of the backlinks that I've created for this site. Uh, referring domains. So, you know, when you just create a site and it just sits there, uh, no one's going to actually rank to you, right? So um, this is why you have to create backlinks. So as you can see here, um, these are different domains that I own behind the scenes that I'm able to point a link to back to my client's site. And each of those links, it's like a vote in, in a popularity contest. And every quality link that I'm able to create boosts my site up the rankings, okay? I think we all know this uh, already that we need to rank higher. Um, but another thing I want to talk to you about is covering multiple locations. As you can see, my client is in the Metro Detroit area, and we were just looking at the listing in Sterling Heights. But he can service, you know, all the way up to Novi, Livonia, and all of Detroit area, right? So this whole area, well, how Google local search works is by proximity. So if you're searching from all the way from Novi, it's going to serve up companies nearest to that person uh, in Novi. It's not going to serve up my site all the way in Sterling Heights. This is why if you want to cover a greater area and get customers from a different locations, you have to create a separate site, separate map listing in, in, um, in that area that you're trying to find more customers from. This is exactly what I've done for this client. I have a site in Novi, West Bloomfield, Bloomfield, Royal Oak, Sterling Heights, Troy, um, Shelby, Rochester Hills, um, Clinton, and in downtown Detroit. Also Ferndale as well, um, Bloomfield, a few other places, Pontiac. Um, I think I have about 10, like 13 locations for one client. So when you begin doing that, you can really multiply the amount of leads that you're generating. So here's my site in Sterling Heights. I have my site pulled up in Southfield. And if you're able to dominate each of those locations, pretty simple site. Uh, I have another site, Novi Towing, at the top for these very highly searched keywords. Troy, Towing Troy. Um, I found that service or niche plus the city after it, th that is like the most searched important keyword because why? If somebody's in Bloomfield Hills and they just search towing, even if they're not, if they, even if they don't put Bloomfield Hills at the end, it's going to serve up this kind of search result because uh, Google knows that that person is in Bloomfield Hills. Five Star Towing is another listing of mine. Just to prove that these listings are mine, um, well, each location also needs a um, tracking phone number, okay? So you cannot use the same phone number for every location. Um, it has to be separate. So 
here's my back end where you can see all of the calls coming in for this client. As you can see, the tracking number is different for each single one. Um, you know, you can even listen in on the calls coming in. Uh, hey, um, I had called to get a tow um, out of Livonia, and I was told the... Okay, so that was a, a call coming in. Um, here's an Excel spreadsheet of the calls that came in the last 30 days. Just in August 1st, which is yesterday alone. There was 111 phone calls that came in yesterday. So, you know, this is a 586-200-1118 number. Let me search 1118. As you can see, this is 586-200-1118. So, um, just to show that these are tracking numbers that I own. Um, it's uh two one three nine two seven five. Okay, here it is. Must have been a sales call here. Here's another one. Okay, so this is all under the same campaign. So all these numbers are going to one client of mine. Now, if you're able to do this for your own business, think of how much more you know customers that you can service. And if you have a digital marketing agency, uh, think of how much of an impact you can make to your client's business if you learn how to do this. Because there's a little bit more things involved, like getting a location, um, et cetera, et cetera. If you're interested, we have a coaching program that teaches our students how to do this, how to make money online, providing selling leads, lead generation service to small business owners. Or if you're a small business owner yourself, you can learn to do this for yourself, for your own company. Uh, just click the link uh, in, inside the description of this video. All right, thank you.